and today we're going to talk about internal auditor training for the ISO 9001 standard. It's a template for quality management system. It tells you what to do. It doesn't necessarily tell you how to do those things. It's a very powerful feedback tool for the quality management process within an organization. The purpose of the standard is so that we have organizations, people all over the world, and everybody's doing it the same way. That's what ISO stands for, equal, like isosceles triangle. In many instances, our clients say, I have, you know, my biggest customer has said, I now have to be ISO 9001 registered. And so there's a bit of a financial imperative to do it. So why, why does a major client want their suppliers to be ISO registered? Because the standard's the same, ISO equal. It's the same everywhere. So if, if you're supplying widgets, and, and, and this person over here is supplying widgets. If, if you're ISO registered, I know a lot about your quality management system from day one. This other person over here, not so much. We've had clients that we've worked with for ISO 9001 certification, and they report that now they're getting more business because I, I, I knew about you, but now you've got this seal of approval for want of a better term. I'm much more uh, willing to reach out to you. I'm much more willing to take you on as a supplier. So many times, uh, I, I, an example we just worked with at Missouri Enterprise, there was a real home run because uh, as soon as uh, uh, we got them through ISO registration, uh, they got an enormous order from one of their major customers. And that was the holdback was once, once that was in place, uh, then we're off to the races. So there are other benefits that ISO certification brings to an organization. To become certified in the first place, you have to define your major processes. And when you do that, you start to look at them and you start to see some areas for improvement. And I can't tell you how many conference room tables I've sat at where we're doing an implementation and we start going through some of these processes and people say, we do that? I didn't know we did that. Why are we doing that? And so this really opens the door for some of the lean methodologies. Uh, some Many times like 5S will flow out of uh, an ISO implementation. Uh, I always uh, uh, recommend to clients, let's, let's use off the shelf tools that we have, lean, uh, all sorts of SMED, very many things that we can use and we can, you know, uh, achieve this requirement of the standard. At Missouri Enterprise, when we work with a client on an ISO 9001 implementation, usually one of the last things we do is train their audit team. Maybe some of these folks that are going to be auditing, they've never heard of the standard other than, you know, seeing it on a letterhead or something. We go through that, we talk to them about the requirements, we talk about the methodology of auditing, what's expected of them as an auditor, and then lead them through their first audit. However, there are instances, particularly with small companies, they find it more beneficial or frankly more economical to hire Missouri Enterprise to come in and do their audits for them. And there's obviously no reason why you can't do that. So rather than maintaining an audit staff on hand, they might just hire myself or someone like me to come in and do the audit every year. Give us a call at Missouri Enterprise. We'll be happy to help you with your ISO 9000 implementation and audit training needs. Thank you.